CataractCoach.com, ASCRS case number three, Rock the Nucleus. We talked about white cataracts, and there are a lot of techniques we want to use here, but the important thing to remember on these white cataracts is it's intumescent fluid. So look at this pressurized lens. Look at that. You can see how much pressure there is within the capsule bag. That's a high intralenticular pressure, and that's going to pose an issue. You need to have the anterior chamber pressure higher than the intralenticular pressure. And if you don't, even if you try the needle decompression, you've seen it before, you know that's what happens. So let's talk about this for a little bit. Here's an intermesome white cataract, not as pressurized, but look, getting the capsorexis done, and it wants to run out. Look at that. We have to resort to the little maneuver here, pulling backwards on the rexus to help control it. And even then, it wants to run out. So you need to be able to decompress that capsular bag. Otherwise, you're going to have a tough time. Now look at all that liquefied lens material that came out. At this point now, we can just phaco this dense cataract and be done with it. But the key here is for an intumescent cataract is depressurizing the capsular bag. And that comes by releasing the intumescent liquefied lens cortex material, which is not only in front of the nucleus, it's also behind it. Now here's a case. Look, decompressing and getting some of that fluid out, and you can decompress it even more. And so by decompressing it, now the pressure in the AC is gonna be higher than the pressure in the bag, and as a result, you'll be able to have good control to get a rexus done. This is a resident who's doing this, and you can see a really nice looking rexus, despite having an intumescent white cataract. So that's that needle decompression. Now in some cases, this wrinkled fibrotic lens capsule, it, the good news is it actually it's not pressurized. That's why it's fibrotic. The bad news is you're going to have to resort to things like using micro scissors or even using a, a needle like a cystome here to help kind of cut through and finish that rexus. And it may not be fully continuous or perfectly round, and, and that's okay. You just need to get it done. Look at this cataract. Anything for this patient is going to be a humongous improvement. So a lot of techniques we can do here. Here's another one with a femtosecond laser. You may say, well, femtosecond laser is better, right? No, look carefully. That lens capsule is still attached at a couple of points. So we'll make the main incision here with a diamond. Why a diamond, even though I'm using a femto? Because, of course, the diamond makes a nicer incision than the femtosecond laser. Now with forceps, watch carefully. There are a couple attachment points still. Grabbing that anterior lens capsule, look, one, two. So it's still attached at some points. Now, arguably, a better option may be doing a device like this, this Zepto device. Now, an intumescent white cataract, it may even be among the very best options. In this case, you put this device on and you create some suction on the anterior lens capsule. A very brief millisecond or two of energy is applied to create a perfectly round capsulotomy. Now, let me tell you what I mean about rocking the nucleus. So here, another intumescent white cataract by a resident. We're checking the AC pressure. Want to get that AC pressure high enough. And so, if you need to, put more viscoelastic, but get the pressure in the AC higher than the pressure in the bag. And that's almost a pretty firm AC. So, again, injecting now, that's going in with the needle, sucking out some of the lens uh, liquefied material. And we can inject that here on the cornea. And then go in again and really rock this thing. So, going in again with the needle. And look, we'll release more fluid by rocking it around. And look at the more milk that comes there in the anterior chamber. You can aspirate it again, and now there's even more being aspirated. So a liquefied lens cortex surrounds the entire nucleus. So we go in with the needle decompression, and we puncture it. Yes, we get out some of that lens milk, but then the nucleus moves up, and there's more liquefied cortex trapped behind. So we have to rock that nucleus back and forth in order to release all of it. Now the capsular bag is completely depressurized, and you can finish the case very easily. So now you can see even this resident will do a nice job here making an incision. And the rexus can be completed with a lot of control because the capsular bag is completely depressurized. At this point, the rest of the case is pretty normal. And so now you've got some good technologies and good tools and good ideas of techniques how to do these types of cataracts. This resident's doing a beautiful job, by the way, with that FACO chop which is going to be another one of our videos that you can learn as well. So keep these tricks in mind for rocking the nucleus when you have an intumescent white cataract.